everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84, and today I'm bringing you another player profile. Slightly different to the previous ones, I am in the video, and we are going to move it at slightly quicker pace than the ones before, but still, the idea is the same. We are going to look at a young player at the start of the game, move on forwards, and see how he develops as a footballer. If you're enjoying the content that you're seeing on the channel at the moment, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the thumbs up and give it a like just to help the channel out. Any comments you have, whether you want to see me do additional players or you've got a player that you think deserves to be in a player profile, don't forget to leave them in the comments box down below. So, today's player in question is Philip Ronningen Jorgensen. He is an 18 year old central midfielder or defensive midfielder who starts the game at odd in Norway. He is a 5 foot 10 midfielder, so he is a good height. He starts the game as 11 stone 9, so he's a solid player really for the centre of the park. When we break down his technicals, you can see he has good corners, crossing, dribbling. First touch is good, passing is good at 14. He has good tackling and technique. When you look at his mentals, he has good aggression, anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions, determination is high at 15. There's good off the ball, positioning, teamwork, vision, and work rate. When you look at his physicals, he has good acceleration, agility, balance. Natural fitness is really high at 15. Good pace, good stamina. The only downside to him a little bit there is that he has 10 for strength, which means he could get bullied a little bit in the midfield, but I think that's only going to improve as he gets older. He starts the game as a current ability player of 1-1-2. So then, the next thing to do is for us to jump forwards four years in the game and see what he looks like in 2024. Okay, so you can see that there is a big jump in his development. He's now in the Chelsea under-23s, which is a good step for him career-wise. You can see he's grown in height to six foot. He now weighs 12 stone, three pounds, so he's bulked out and he's 22 years old. You can see that his current ability has jumped to 129. He has good corners, crossing, dribbling still. His first touch is 14. His long shot to 12. Uh, passing is 15. Penalty taking 12. Tackling 11 and technique 14. When we look at his mentals. Now got aggression. Anticipation is 15. Good composure, concentration, decisions, determination. Leadership, off the ball, positioning. Teamwork, vision is 15. And work rate is 13. So all of those are good when you look at his physicals he has good acceleration agility his balance is 15 jumping reach is 12 his pace is 12 his stamina is 13 and his strength has now developed into 12 so he's still not brilliant but he's a strong enough player now to be able to hold the ball and lay it off you can see his player traits there he tries killer balls often comes deep to get the ball plays one twos and dictates the tempo of the game when we have a little look at his career stats, you can see that he was playing good first team football for Odd when he was in Norway. Played 59 games in total in the previous two seasons that he was there. He only scored one goal but had nine assists. He had average ratings of 7.21 and 7.33. He then was sold to Chelsea for 2.3 million. Unfortunately, he hasn't played a first team game at Chelsea yet. But it doesn't seem to have stunted his growth as he's developing all the time. We have a look at the scouting page. Now, I've been running a test with Aston Villa, so I'm using Aston Villa scouts to tell me really what they think of the player. When we look through some of his pros, you can see that he displays resolute characteristics. He's a consistent performer. His passing ability underlines his technical prowess. Good positioning and decisions for an intelligent player. He can play in a couple of positions. Cons really though are that he needs to work on becoming more clinical in front of goal and he'll find it difficult to adapt into the core group but may fit into the secondary group. And for the benefit of the video you can see that Aston Villa scouts have compared him to Aston Villa's players. They managed to sign Tonali in this save. So you've got Jack Grealish, Tonali and Douglas Louise as the benchmarks and Jorgensen is rated with enough potential to be troubling those at the top of the list eventually in his career if he continues on his upwards curve. If we go on into the analyst page, you can see his positives are 
career appearances of 123. And Villa rate him as a 62. So he's currently operating at EFL Championship level. Has the potential to be a Premier League player in the future. And would be a good signing for the club. So you can tell that this is a player that you can go out and buy for around 2.3 million. A couple of seasons into the game. You know he's going to start to develop into a brilliant defensive midfielder or central midfielder. He has the ability to bulk out as well to help with his strength, which means that he's going to be able to distribute the ball and play at various plug-in roles for the club. He's going to be a player that you can pick up and develop. I mean, if you see on his screen here, he's worth 14.75 million at that point. So Chelsea have managed to... If they was to sell him and cash on in in cash in on him now, if I can talk, if they were to cash in on him now, they would make twelve million pounds profit, and he hasn't even played in the first team. So I think this is a player with untapped potential, and if you can get him in, get him into the training routines, break him into the first team squad, you could have a player on your hands that could storm any league. So that wraps up my views on Philip Ronning and Jorgensen. If you agree with me and you think he's going to be a great player in the future, don't forget to let me know in the comments box. If you plan on signing him too, let me know how he develops. If you've enjoyed that, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. And until the next player profile, thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.